Greetings everyone, this is Potato Hedgehog and welcome to Far Cry New Dawn. If you haven't noticed, this game is essentially a standalone sequel to Far Cry 5, specifically after the ending where everything blows up. This game takes place 17 years after that, in, in terms of storyline that is, and I'm not going to lie to you guys, my opinion on Far Cry New Dawn is kind of mixed. While it's a good Far Cry game in its own right, it does a lot of things wrong as compared to 5, 4, and even 3 before it. So... Yeah, we'll get into that as the story progresses, but... Let's see what the Apinkalypse has to offer. And I say Apinkalypse because... Everything is pink in this game, whether it be the text, the typeface, the menus, even the logo itself is pink. Super Bloom, I guess. That being said, let's see what's happened to Hope County in the, in the past 17 years. The day I was born was the day the world collapsed. Those that survived had to make new lives underground. Up above, there was nothing but ash and cold and death. People thought it would last forever, but without us up there, life returned. I was six years old the first time I saw the sun. Mom and Dad were heartbroken by what they saw. The world they'd known gone forever. But not me. So perfect. We weren't the only ones who'd survived, and slowly but surely, our little community grew. It wasn't always easy, but for a time, there was peace and prosperity. A new home. A new life. A new normal. But, like all things in this world, it was too good to last. The highwaymen came from the east, led by a pair of sisters. Twins. Said they'd heard about our little paradise. Said they wanted it for themselves. We never stood a chance. He took everything from us, our food, our homes, our people. We needed a miracle. And that's when we heard the name Thomas Rush. He and his captain had been up and down the West Coast helping folks like us rebuild. And they were on a train headed right through Hope County. Mom sent me to find them, convince them to help us take our home back. They were our last hope, our salvation. But it all went horribly wrong. So in other words, like every other Far Cry game before this, shit's gone tits up and uh, we are our resistance in need of assistance and we need to free outposts without being detected. Yeah, pretty much. Moshi, when did you turn pink? Gotta fall in line with the theme, dude. Look, even the logo's pink. Yes, everything is pink. Carmina is gonna be an important character later on, believe it or not. And I hinted at her existence in the last game, considering... Considering Kim Rai was pregnant as fuck. Indeed she was. You know, I I am I am not used to you being pink, Moshi. Get used to it. I'm probably gonna be pink for the rest of this let's play. Can Inklings just change their colors at will? I think. Or unless someone threw pink ink on me without even notice, without even me knowing, and whoever did that, I'm going to punch you in the dick. You wait to find yourself in a dilapidated train. What do you do? Find the light switch. There is no light switch. 
Bullshit! I would get up if I weren't trapped under a pile of rubble, Barnes. Just saying. Jesus, Barnes, just keep screaming like that. You're gonna bring them all down on us. Who the fuck are you? Help me. No, oh, that's Thomas Rush, help. isn't it? Barnes? I think we're supposed to be his right hand man. Yeah, assistance via Rush. We need to stick together. Understood? Yep. Ooh, a makeshift dagger. Can we stab Highwaymen in the face with it? Because if so, that would be fantastic. Easier said than done. One step at a time, Barnes. You lead, we'll follow. Aren't you supposed to be the leader, Rush? I'm supposed to be following you, considering I'm your right-hand man. Crawling through the wreckage. Did that say deputy outfit? Because if so, I want to dress up as my former self. Is the deputy even in this game? Well, considering what happened last time we saw Deputy Potato, maybe he is, I don't know. That being said, we need to find our way out of here. Hopefully without garnering too much attention from the highwaymen. Fireworks? In the, in the apocalypse? Who told you that? Oh joy, villain monologues. If there's one thing I'm going to complain about with Far Cry New Dawn, and you will hear me complain about them, it's the antagonists. Far Cry is usually known for their antagonists, but... <sighs> you know what, I'll, 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 I'll talk about them once they're properly introduced, but we just kind of heard their voices and what they're all about, so you can probably guess what the, what the two new main antagonists are all about, right? I've got a serious feeling that I'm going to hate him too, but not for the reasons you usually hate a Far Cry villain. Hey, we rescued a nameless NPC. Hopefully they know how to take care of themselves. Ooh, gun. Thank you. And I hear someone being tortured in the distance. We should probably kill the motherfucker who's responsible for it, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. I will kill you with this branch. This is my holy branch of justice, and I will use it to smite any highwayman that comes my way. Specifically by way of yeet! Okay, the highwaymen are weak to branches. That, that's nice to know. I can't believe you just yeeted a branch at a highwayman and they just fucking died. Yeah, let, let's see that again, actually. Poor Highwaymen, and he was just a day from retirement, if Highwaymen even do retire. Nah, I think his name was Wilhelm, too. Oh yeah, because of the Wilhelm shout. You mean Wilhelm scream. Yeah, yeah, Wilhelm shout, Wilhelm scream, same difference. We're trying to save these people, Rush, but uh, oh shit, another Highwayman. Let's see how we can take this. By using the old Far Cry tactic, throw a rock to distract people. And after playing through Far Cry 3 recently, the muscle memory be hitting hard though. I think I'll be throwing a Molotov at this motherfucker too. Oh, it's a female highwayman. Interesting. I think you're gonna get the Molotov treatment, missy. That is, if I don't tear your eyes out with this makeshift dagger that I have. Yeet! Burn, motherfucker, burn! She didn't burn hard enough. Oh, shit. Get stabbed and stabbed again. The takedown animations are brutal this time around. Instead of kicking people in the shins, you just, uh, pull out your makeshift dagger and go to town. Yeah, the takedown animations are much more brutal this time around. Well, considering we're in, we're in the post of pink ellipse, that kind of makes sense. Let's see if I can throw this throwing knife at someone. Come on, come on. I will commend myself for that. I threw that at him without even missing. Would you say that you don't miss? I guess, Moshi, but uh, I think we have been detected. Oh, shit. Yep, we've been detected.
We meet again, Carmina. Carmina looks like we go, looks like we gotta go to the river. Yes, sir, Thomas Rush, sir. But first, armory car. Oh joy, we're hearing more of the we're hearing more of the uh, Sioux villains in this game, and I think we're gonna meet them as soon as we get to the river. Oh, and by the way, Far Cry New Dawn has a has a has an, has an elite enemy system, I'll call it. Because enemies have health bars now, and the more dangerous the enemy, the bigger the health bar is. I'll get more on that later, but uh, one of those highwaymen had a level 3 health bar, so that's fun. Cutscene, by the way. everybody. Santa delivered a whole damn train full of presents. Ugh. What do we have here? Rabbit. I gotta ask you rabbits a question. The fuck you think was gonna happen? Riding in on a giant hunk of iron, just clouds of black smoke. You think we wouldn't notice? What do you want, Barnes? We want to know. If your problem solvers, a problem makers. What? <laughs> Our pops always told us that people either solve problems or make problems. The world's got too many fucking problems. And we're looking for people to help solve problems. Uh, our problems. If you're a problem solver, we got you covered. Food, clothes, guns. Anything you need. <laughs> Even health insurance. <laughs> but if you make problems well, Pops taught us what to do with problem makers. Problem makers need to be solved. Mm -hmm. Old man solved a shit ton of problems in his day. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, rabbits. Are you all problem solvers or problem makers? We solve problems. We've been solving problems all over this Barnes. country. We can give you fresh water, build shelters. We can get you anything you need. Barnes, shut up. You can build all that? Well, I'm not me, but Rush here. Well, then you are going to be our number one problem solver. Go fuck yourself. Huh. OK. <laughs> you done? Yeah. So, let's try this again. You gonna help solve problems for us, Mr. Rush? Hmm. Okay. Bye, Rush! Those were Mickey and Lou, by the way. And I do not like them. They are bad Far Cry antagonists, because, um... We'll get to that, but I think we have been saved by Carmina. What makes you say that? Hey, hey, wake up, wake up. I'd rather not. 
recognize you from the train. You're captain of security, right? Yep. I'm Carmina. I know this. Oh my god, I saw you hit the water and I was able to pull you out before you drowned, but... Near as I can tell, I think we're the only ones who got away. You think? Come on. Okay. We have to be careful. The twins, they took off with Rush, but a lot of the highwaymen, they stuck around. Okay, we, we have to get back to Hope County. My mom. My mom. She'll know what to do. Come on. Hello, this is Carmina Rye, and if you didn't figure it out from what I mentioned about her earlier, she is she is Kim Rye and Nick Rye's daughter, and she is one of the guns for hire, and uh, she's kind of kind of prone to getting it to getting herself in trouble. So if you're gonna hear me complain about Carmina, it's gonna be a lot considering. <laughs> In the one of the upcoming battles, she kind of gets herself downed because she gets herself detected. And if you get, and if one of your guns for hire gets detected, you get detected by proxy, so that's fun. Then they took the house. My mom and I were forced to start over on our own. Thanks for the backstory, Carmina, but I'm not exactly listening. But my mom managed to bring survivors together, and we all tried to build a place where we'd be safe. Neat. Is that a mole rat? Is that a fucking mole rat? I see what you're doing, Ubisoft. Like, that was a fucking mole rat. Nah, that was just a tiny mole rat. Punch this wood, because fuck wood. Yeah, fuck wood. What did wood ever do for us? Except build the house that we live in. Yeah, that makes sense. It's time to chew ass and kick bubble gum. And I'm all out of ass. You built a motherfucking saw launcher and you made an incorrect reference to a movie that I've probably never seen. Yes, indeed, Moshi, because that's how we roll around here. That being said, I think it's time to fight our way to Hope County. Because I think we're almost there. Ah, mutated deer. Mutated elk kin. Fuck out of here. But anyway, the Saw Launcher is one of the new weapons in this game, and I think it makes a return in Far Cry 6, if the pre-order bonus for that game isn't anything to go by. The Saw Launcher is, well, pretty much as you expect, a Saw Launcher. It launches saws. What more do you want from me? Oh, and upgraded, upgraded versions of the Saw Launcher later on are fucking busted, because the Saw Launcher bounces off of enemies as soon as they make impact. So you can get multiple kills like that. I am disappointed there is no blood or gore in this in this game or the game before it. Because it would have been nice to see a double decapitation with that saw launcher. Yes, that would have been fantastic, Moshi. That would have been fucking glorious. Then again, why doesn't Doom 2016 have a saw launcher? That seems like a Doom guy kind of weapon, not not a Far Cry weapon. I mean, I mean, yo, like the saw launcher is kind of made out of old bike parts. That's interesting, actually. I'm surprised Fallout didn't think of this first. Yeah, I'll give Ubisoft this. At least they were they were creative with the post-apocalypse. Instead of it making everything grayish brown, everything's fucking pink. Including me. Yes, Moshi. Why the fuck are you pink? I don't know. Probably because everything else in this game is pink. Even the guns are pink. The guns are pink. The flowers are pink. The title screen is pink. Everything is pink. Yes, the apinkalypse. And it wasn't caused by Pinkie Pie. Nah! Alright. Remember when I said that Carmina has a tendency to get herself in trouble? This is the battle I'm talking about. We literally have to fight our way into Hope County, and this is where we do it. Problem is, if you get detected, literally every enemy that's in this vicinity will come on your ass, and if you're not prepared, which you will not be, considering... 
you can only have two weapons at a time starting out. One of them being a lowly pistol, which is a level one pistol, which are the weakest weapons in the game, and a saw launcher with limited ammunition. So imagine what happens if Carmina gets detected and she only starts out with a pistol. Yeah, Carmina just got herself detected and she's probably going to go down in the next few seconds. So, if I have other opportunities to get other guns for hire besides Carmina, that would be fantastic because she is obviously not prepared. Oh, and I forgot to mention this, but the saw launcher... The saw launcher cannot differentiate, differentiate between friend and foe. Because if you fire that son of a bitch, it will come back around and probably hit one of your guns for hire. So, aim, for, aim carefully because... I think I accidentally hit Carmina while firing the saw launcher, so, uh, just gonna, just gonna be careful about that. And upgraded versions of the saw launcher later on can fire up to five of them, five of the motherfuckers, so, imagine how busted that's gonna be. Fuck you! Okay. Just gotta clear out the rest of these motherfuckers and then we'll be good. What are the highwaymen even supposed to be? Just a band of Fallout br Fallout type raiders. They're really no one special. Good job, Carmina. Really proving yourself as a fighter there, Missy. I really hope I don't have to be watching over your ass. That being said, ow. Okay, sniper, sniper. Grabbing pills. Yes, indeed, grabbing pills, Moshi. I really hope I don't have to watch over you, Carmina, because fucking hell, you really shouldn't have gone down from a minor explosion like that. He says as he got exploded by a plane literally the last time we played Far Cry 5. That's because I shot the motherfucker out of the sky, Moshi. I don't think a single plane is in this game either, that's weird. Because this is far this is a sequel to Far Cry 5. Like, if you're gonna bring a new faction in, they're gonna be armed to the fucking teeth. Nice throwing knife. That's the second critical knife kill that I've done in this let's play. And I'm and I am proud of that. Did we get all of them? I think we got all of them. Nope, there's more. Oh right. At least he didn't get to that mounted gun, because the first time I played Far Cry New Dawn, some motherfucker got to a... Some motherfucker got to a mounted gun and then killed me, like, twice. That being said... Fucking saw launchers. Yes, indeed. And then everything is blowing up. Right, Snips. Let's get the fuck out of here. Snips? Because honestly, Carmina reminds me of Ahsoka Tano, except that Carmina is less badass. So I'm just going to call her Snips from here on in. And Carmina sounds like a type of bread. Carmina rye bread. Yes, indeed. Anyway, to Hope County we go! Come on, we're almost there. There it is. Home. I hope mom is okay.
Carmina! Oh, thank God. I was so worried. Mom. Uh, kids, go back inside. I'll be right there. What's wrong? There is a whole train full of people to help us. But... The highwaymen? The twins? They took Rush? Everyone else was killed. Oh my god. It was terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I never should have gone out there, Mom. I... Oh, honey. What are we gonna do now? I, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I mean, no one's coming to help us. We're on our own. It's just us. Shh. Let's get you both inside. You can tell me the whole story. Thank you for bringing her home. All right, guys. You know how to handle a gun. You know your way around this valley better than anybody. So? So? Sitting around moping isn't doing any good. Look, Rush was supposed to help us build someplace safe. Now, it's up to us. There are brave people here scattered around. We just have to find them. Bring everyone together. Show them we can stand up to the highwaymen. Mom, it's not gonna be easy. I know. But it's our only choice. We live! Indeed. And here we are in prosperity. AKA John Seed's old, um, mansion, I think. Or ranch. Yeah, this is essentially John Seed's old old ranch from Far Cry 5, which was now repurposed into a... which is now repurposed into a building for the Resistance this time around. Hello again, Snips. Home. Mom's right. The two of us can work together to build this place back up. Yeah! Give me a call. I'll come fight by your side, Cap. You don't mind if I call you Cap, right? Captain of security just sounds, well, a little formal. Just call me Potato if Snips. You have been put through the ringer. If you want to freshen up with a change of clothes before we get started, there's some stuff over there. You should probably talk to Mom. She'll give you the rundown on what we can do for prosperity. Duly noted again, Snips. I hope just next time I bring you into combat, you're actually worth a damn. That being said, let's make our avatar this time around. What are you gonna look like this time around, Potato? Probably the same as last time, except with a beard, considering this is like 17 years after Far Cry 5, so... Potato returns, except as a security captain! Uh, let's just find my hair. That's not it. Nah. Yeah! There we go. So just imagine me from Far Cry 5, except with a beard now, because... Potato's grown older. He's got to look the part. Note, I do not have a beard like this IRL because I fucking hate my facial hair. I'm gonna be 23 this year. Oh my fucking Christ, that literally just hit me. And that literally just hit me. Alright, uh, let's see here. Boxing wraps. Yeah, that kind of fits. Maybe Captain Potato's been in a few fights here and there. That reminds me, I need to get back to the other world. Joseph Seed's old shades, as proof, and as proof I defeated him. I wonder what life is like out Yeah, you know, that sounds about right, but that being said, I think we're gonna start our adventure in the Apinkalypse in the next episode. So, if you guys enjoyed this episode of Far Cry New Dawn, please leave a like and a comment to let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, ladies and gentlemen, see ya!